I just wanted to say about Arduino and traffic lights. Quite often you see people going, this is how to make an Arduino set of traffic lights and this is how to make two sets of traffic lights run from an Arduino board. But it's not actually right. Because quite often what you'll see they will do is when the first set of lights goes green, the second one stays red. But as soon as the first set goes red, the second set goes amber and then green. Real traffic lights don't do that. Real traffic lights, both of them stay red for a couple of seconds to allow the junction to clear. Watch these for a few seconds. See both red, then the first set goes red. And I thought I'd make mine into a crossing so the amber flashes. Then it goes to green, then amber. Then now they're both back at red again. Now the second one will do it. Red and amber, the amber will flash, then green. Green, amber, back to red. Both reds are still on to allow the junction time to clear. Yes, I know it's only a small programming thing, but if you are going to program a set of traffic lights realistically, why not do it really realistically? If you want to do something even more realistic, look across to the right. Yup, a bunch of cables. What could they be going off to? Now that's what you should connect an Arduino board to. Real traffic lights. No, I didn't pinch them. You can actually buy them from eBay. Prices vary considerably, but be patient. 